Hi, it's Janet from My Barnyard View. How are you doing today? Today I want to share another one of my favorite cow books. This one is Cows Can't Fly by David Milgram. He not only wrote the book, he also drew the pictures. Now, I know that cows can't fly, but cows can do some pretty amazing things. So when I'm done reading the story today, my daughter Sarah is actually going to take you on a tour. You're going on a field trip right from your home. She's going to take you to the calf barn to see our calves. So stay tuned. After the book is read, Sarah's going to be on to show you the calf barn. See you tomorrow. Bye. Cows can't fly, but I don't care. One day I drew some in the air. That's absurd, my father said. Why don't you draw some birds instead? But then, like magic, came a breeze that grabbed my cows and shook the trees. Wow, do you think cows can fly? And in a breath, before my eyes, my flying cows were flying high. Now wait a minute. On my farm, cows do not fly. They do a lot of amazing things, but they do not fly. My drawings flew off far away, but where it went, I cannot say. And what have we here? Hmm. Wow, what do you think those cows might be thinking? It looks like one is trying to fly. Next thing I knew, to my surprise, a flock of cattle fluttered by. They flapped and flew and filled the sky, quite unaware that cows can't fly. Wow, look at them all up in the sky, and I didn't think cows could fly. My grandma said, if cows can fly, then why, pray tell, can't you and I? You don't see me flying, do you? Can you fly? Ms. Crumb said cows were far too fat, that facts were facts, and that was that. It looks like Ms. Crumb is giving a lesson on gravity. That's the big word at the top of the page. And everyone I told downtown was much too busy looking down. Oh, what a shame they missed seeing the cows fly. So no one saw the cows but me, but what a sight they were to see. <sighs> and when they left, I grabbed my pen and sat right down to draw again. Okay, that's perfect. Now, hold still. <gasps> Look what he's drawing now. Because if cows can soar the sky, who knows what else might start to fly. Oh, I wonder if they can fly too. Hi, I'm Sarah. Just like my mom said, we're here to take a field trip to see our baby calves in our calf barn. You might have noticed that my hands are blue. When I'm working with our baby calves, I wear these blue gloves to make sure that their food stays as clean as possible because we want them to stay healthy. We're gonna take a look at what they eat first before we take a look at those baby calves. Every time when it's time to feed our baby calves, we start by giving them milk. And believe it or not, this white powder is going to turn into milk for our baby calves. All we need to do is mix it with water to make that happen. You can see it's a really fine powder. And you can see that big blue scoop in there. That's how we measure it. If we fill that measuring cup all the way with that white powder and mix it with water, that's enough to feed four baby calves their milk. Let's see what else they eat. This right here is what we call ground feed. It's made out of corn. 
just like the milk powder, it's broken up into tiny pieces. We do this for both the babies and the mom cows. This makes sure that it's easy for them to chew because did you know that cows only have teeth on the bottom of their mouth? They don't have top teeth like people do. This is another kind of feed that our baby cows get. It's called sweet feed. It's a little bit different because it has some bigger pieces of corn and then there's also some of these special pellets mixed in. If you have a hamster or a guinea pig or a rabbit, maybe you fed your pet pellets before too. This is actually where we keep all of the vitamins to keep our baby calves healthy. They're hidden inside of that milk powder and these pellets. You can also see there's some tiny pieces in here that look like seeds. Those are called oats. You can make another thing for baby calves out of oats. Let's take a look at what that is. So the oats have those seeds at the top, but then they grow on these big, tall sticks. And these big, tall sticks have the seeds taken off, but we don't waste anything on our farm. Oh, hey, Nico, thanks for the visit. With these sticks, we take them, we cut them up with a giant lawnmower. And once we go through with all, oh my gosh, here comes Benji. Hi, Benji. Once we cut all those pieces up, then we can turn this actually into a bed for our baby calves. Sometimes people get straw and hay mixed together or mixed up because they don't live on a farm. But hay is different. That's another food that they eat. Let's take a look at the last food that our baby cows eat. This right here is a bale of hay. Our hay is made out of something called alfalfa. Oh, silly Nico, you're after me again. With this bale of hay, we do the same thing we did with the straw. We cut it up and make it into smaller pieces. I pulled some pieces out already so you can see all the different shapes inside of the hay. There are long sticks, there are big fluffy pieces that used to be the leaves of the alfalfa plant. All of it's there for our cows to chew. Thanks for helping, Benji. Let's take a look at those baby calves. We're in our baby calf barn now. Look at all of them. This barn is where we keep all of our baby calves. You can see every baby calf. Oh goodness, they're being silly and playing with their bucket. You can see that every baby calf gets their own pen. In order to keep them happy and healthy, they like their own space because then if somebody gets sick, they have their own space to stay safe. We don't want our baby calves too close together. When this barn is full, we can have 35 baby calves in here. You can see that some of the pens, like these two, he doesn't have a neighbor right now. When we have more babies this spring, more babies will go into these boxes. Every baby calf has two buckets. And in those two buckets, it's where, oh, oh goodness, you're being extra silly this morning. In these two buckets, it's where we keep all of the food that I just showed you. The red bucket gets their milk and the black bucket gets the ground feed and the sweet feed. When they're finished with all of their milk, that's what I'm waiting on right now. I come around a second time and I put water into that bucket because our baby calves get milk and water. As they get older, they'll stop wanting to have milk, but they'll drink water their whole life. So let's take a look at all these silly baby calves.
thanks so very much for going on this field trip with me. If you're lucky, maybe I can convince my mom that we go on another one next week. Have a good day and see you tomorrow.